これからじっくりと私の輝きで魅了して差し上げますわ Greetings YouTube This is BJ Black and welcome to part 29 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister As we left off we were just ending the chapter on an ominous note Still she's such an airhead I can't take her seriously Okay, the power, of, the power of flames and the double shield princess. Is she really going to wield two shields in battle? How does that work? Alright, so let's talk about how nice it is waking up. And this is somebody thinking about how they feel sleepy in the head and they're laying there with their lover. Jeefy is calling out of Aro's name. Or mumbling it at the very least. Yesterday was really pleasant. Now here they give your first hint. They use a pronoun. That's the pronoun that Fia uses, not the one that Avaro uses. Okay, so probably somebody's gonna wake her up now soon. And we get to continue with all these things. And she's so happy she got to spend the night with Avaro and all. She'll never forget it. All right, time to get up then. Fia starts thinking about what she's going to do today. She's always thinking about flirting with Avaro, but today she's gotten even more motivated. Because now they're in love. All right, she's decided. She's going to pretend like she's sleepy. And she's going to bury her face in Avaro's chest. And say good morning. So, she reaches over for his body. He's not there. Navarro's not there. So she reaches out her hands and the bed doesn't even have his body heat still on it. So she gets up and looks around, still nothing. Oh jeez, he just sure gets up early. Well, he's so serious and passionate about his work, huh? So he must have gotten up and gotten to work. Yep, that must be it. Nothing to worry about. Ah. Uh, she wanted to get all hands on in bed in order to commemorate having sex the night before. Well, anyway, last night he did say that he loved her and he always wanted to stay by her side and support her. So there's no reason, there's no way he would have left. All right, time to go find him. See his face again and say good morning. But for some reason, she's got a bad feeling about this. It's one of those pressures in her chest. And if she feels like half of her has left her, a separation anxiety kind of thing. All right, everybody gather up. Anybody find him? They all shake their heads no. Even though he would probably be somewhere in the castle and we've got this many people looking. 
いや確認できなかった住居区画には現れていないようだ Kisner has confirmed he hasn't been seen in the residential areas. There's no trace of him where the monster has come out. That would be the labyrinth then. And Mikayu checked in his workshop. So what was Fio checking? Did he leave the castle? No, 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 that can't be true. <laughs> When fear here hears it put into words, it just makes her uneasy, though. <laughs> But Kisner knows that he's pretty serious and takes good care of pretty much everything so even if he did have a reason for leaving the castle he would have at least left us he would have at least told us about it now Fio realizes, realizes Kisner is right yeah there's no way he could have he would have done that <laughs> all right so where is he then Fia has never really had to think about finding Avaro. They've basically never been apart since she woke up. And when they did part, he would usually leave behind a promise of when they would meet up again. <laughs> Alright, suppose that something so urgent came up that he had to leave without contacting us. Even then, he could have left a note. Oh, if he has got an idea, maybe, maybe he was kidnapped by someone. Come on, Fia, that's just crazy talk. Alright. That's probably overthinking it. Let's calm down a bit. And assume it's just some task he needed to go do. But This is, you know, a morning like any other morning, and every morning he's always here to do this stuff. Tell who to do what, etc., etc., assigning duties. So it's weird for him to be gone in the mornings, especially. Kidnapped, huh? But there's no sign of battle anywhere in the castle. So if they did it, they targeted Avaro and Avaro only. Even though Fia is the one who can move the castle. Alright, Fia says. Afar was a wonderful man, so we kind of require, so she kind of understands why they would want to kidnap him. But it's definitely a bad thing to do. Okay, we're going off on a tangent here. Yeah. Fia's had some more Fia logic to show to these guys, and. <laughs> Uh, all they can do is just wait for her to get, come to her senses. Oh, Eel's got it. More than talking about that, we should be talking about what we need to do now. Oh yeah, Eel's got it. 
隊長さんがどこにいるのか見当がつけばいいんですが実際に誘拐されたって決まったわけでもないですし。So, it seems that he w probably was taken somewhere. Not that it's necessarily against his will, but. He's okay, Kisner's got an idea. First, we should check the nearby places that he might potentially have gone. Yes, I. まずはどこから探しましょう Alright, let's ask Fia where we should start. え私が決めるの What? Fia? She's not used to leading anybody. 紹介の代表は隊長さんと Fia さんです。隊長さんがいない今は Fia さんに指示を伺うべきかなと。Yeah, the company's leaders are Avaro and Fia. With Avaro gone, Fia's in charge, right? Ah, uh, Fia doesn't like leading. Not like this, anyway. <laughs> I've always the one who specialized in that kind of crap. Her being a leader was more like the person everybody on the outside talked to because she's so easy to get along with. Yeah, she doesn't feel confident in leading. <laughs> Okay. Eel's got another good point. The person who knows Avaro the best would be the goddess here. So, where should we go? Eel-chan, good thing you said! So, I'll find out what I'm looking for. So, I'll find out what I'm looking for. That's right! Eel said something good. If... If Fia searches for him, she'll be able to get a straight line to him. What do you mean, straight line? Since Oyel said that just now, she remembered. Since it's her, she can search out of our own. And if she tries, she'll just re understand which way to go. Probably. Well, that's pretty amazing. As expected of a god, I suppose. <laughs> you dork. You mean you could do, like, some kind of psychic... Detection of him, and you had them searching all over the castle. Okay, so she shuts her eyes, she shuts off her ears, shuts off her nose. How do you do that? Anyway, what she wants is Avaro. She listens to her heart and finds the person she loves most. After all, they are goddess and apostle. And furthermore, they connected even better last night, so the connection has grown even stronger. So she should be able to find her apostle, wherever he is. Alright, so... With this, he'll, she'll be able to figure out his location. Hachi! That way! So... It was kind of like light echoing in her body, and it got her a reading and she knows for certain that first of all isn't in the castle and he's actually a bit far he's gotten a bit far away she opens her eyes and everybody's looking off in that direction so it's northwest from Rikabel in the Raoroso region. Raoroso Ryo to iye ba ichido, kono jousai ni ryoushu sama ga raihou shita koto ga arimasu ne. Alright, let's review. Since we're talking about Raoroso region, the ruler of that ruler, 
Are they a ruler? Visit us at once. Yeah, this is news to Kisnia. So, now she learns that aside from Influence Kingdom, there are other people with their eyes on the castle. Now Fia's racking her brain trying to remember it. It happened like a week ago or something. Yeah, there was a girl who wanted a Varo. So, Varo's in an Auroso. Well, the more she thinks about it, the more she gets uh, depressed about it. She almost feels like she's going to cry. Hmm, with all this information, meaning on Fia's say so alone, it the possibility that Rao Rosso kidnapped Avaro has gotten higher. All right, let's go. She's got a bad feeling, so let's head there. All right. Question. Have you gotten enough power to move the castle again? It's all right. She just had sex with Avaro last night, so she is just full of power. Should you really be saying that stuff aloud in front of all of us? You know, the goddess doesn't have that much shame. As expected of a god. Alright. <clears throat> Let's not waste time talking about how weird she is. Let's start moving this castle. Oh, we lost Avaro. Ah, oh, nuts. Oh. Well, I did want to unequip him of his capture rope. And I can still do it now. That's awesome. Alright, here's a note. While Avaro is gone, we won't be able to use his workshop. And we won't be able to visit most of our dungeons. Although I don't know what he has to do with the dungeons. See? No Avaro, no dungeon. Can't go to the workshop here or here. Hmm. Yeah, I should do this while I'm here. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, I really want to get her capture skill up. And also to use some of these... I'm doing this not because I really think I should. But the next map we go to is going to have a ton of enemies and I want to capture all of them. Which means I need space for all of them. Alright, so, on our way to meet up with Avaro, we see the Aquatic Beast's Vanguard. You remember, that's Deethelm's mobile shop. Fia cry, calls out to him. Of course, he's down on the ground and she's up on the castle. Uh! Wait, I didn't get that. Uh, ah. Come again? Uh, ah. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. So it seems like he wants to say something to us. 
No, oh, he was just remembering something. Since Di, Di Tadavaro, then maybe he knows something. And they should stop and talk to him. All right, good plan. Let's stop for a sec. Stop, stop, I say. Funk. Whoops. There was some kind of twisting going on there. What happened? But they're stopped for the moment and Deet comes on the castle. Jeez, he tried to tell you. So, what happened? He just stepped on a tunnel. And since the castle was so heavy, it busted into the interior. Tunnel? Yeah, right here there's a really long tunnel. And since you stepped on it, you got stuck. Yep, no matter how much she tries, she can't pull her leg out of the thing. Man, it's like a pit trap. Well, there's nothing to worry about. We can pull it out. Where's Avaro? This will be a pretty good job. So, we should work together. Ah, uh, well, you see. Explanation. And now he knows. Do you mean you had sex with him? No, that's not what he said. Navarro's gone? Yeah, it seems like he's in a Rauroso. And they're right now trying to get there. Well, that's pretty rough. If Avaro isn't here, we probably can't get the castle moving again. Now why is that? Well, you see, Deet can't do it by himself. So we're going to have to leave the castle behind in order to get there. Yep, in order to pull the foot out of that tunnel, we're going to need Avaro's help. Well, Kisner wants confirmation here. Since he's the one that taught Avaro, wouldn't he be able to do it? Alright. So recall, Detail actually has no magic power, so he does everything mechanically. In order to do this, he would want to make something that could use magic power, and something you would need to put together with magic power, and he can't do either of those. Hmm, Avaro was actually pretty amazing then. Yep, because he was a half elf. Well, in any case, if you look at it normally, a castle that has legs is a totally unreasonable existence. Gee, sorry for being an unreasonable existence. Hey. Uh, but still, were you really planning to go to Raoroso in the castle? 
Well, yeah. Yeah, ha. Nuri so much more. I was a cake when you're she. Don't you know, can't move that there. Was a Joe said the Muria put in a take to Moria Tonga. That's a bit unreasonable. For one thing, Ralph Rosso stands on top of a cliff. And furthermore, on the way, there are border crossings. Did you intend to just bust through them by force with the castle? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Since you realized Avaro had been kidnapped, she can't really hold back against Rao Rosso, right? Well, she says this somewhat seriously. Jeez, your eyes are serious. You're scary, girl. Well, I guess that means you just don't like Avaro that much. She was joking. She really wouldn't destroy a city with it. She just wanted to get the castle close. But if you want to get to Rauro so quickly, why don't you use the tunnel? So it goes that way? Ooh, maps. We love maps. Okay. Let's start with the map. This is Infrusco Kingdom in this area. And over here we have the Santashi Eighth Federation, Alliance, Union, however you want to translate it. Of which Rauroso is one city. This is Rickbell Town. We should be right next to it. And this marked is the Old War Ground Tunnel. So, Kissinger's heard about these tunnels. When Influs and the Santashi Eighth Alliance were at war, they were used a lot. So these were magma tubes, but after the magma was gone, they emptied out and ended up as useful caves for counterattacks. <laughs> So, as of now, the tunnels are completely collapsed over on the Rikbel side, but there should be a way up into the top of the cliff, or so detail is heard. Ah, Mikeu realizes that means that the person who kidnapped me, who kidnapped Avaro, likely used these tunnels. Yep. Kisner points out that Rikbel also has its own border crossings. So. If somebody had brought, you know, an unconscious person across the border crossing, they would have been caught. In that case, if we take the tunnels, we can get to where Avaro is without meeting any border crossers. But, what do we do about the castle? Yeah, that's true. There are a lot of people living on here now. And without any of the party in, what'll they do? 
And then on the other hand, if we go to Rao Russo with the castle, it would be troublesome to them as well. Ah, uh, Io. It's like she can read Fia's mind. The goddess is easy to understand. Alright, stop reading minds now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Before Io, Fia's m cart is just naked. Nah, he can't be helped. Somebody has to stay behind and watch over the castle. And while Deet would like to come with us, he'll stay behind for us. Well, is that alright? Well, it's a special circumstance, and furthermore, he'd like to open up a shop. Great. Alright. The Raul Rosso Town Labyrinth. And this is the first part. Has opened up. Alright, so let's go through the tunnel and get to Arvaro. And the Aquatic Beast Vanguard has come in ahead of us. Maybe they just plan on leading us down there. And I still can't visit anywhere but the place they want me to visit. What if I was underleveled? I'd be like, totally screwed over and I couldn't go anywhere but here. Well. Oh, a bit of housekeeping. I want to make sure my major hitters can capture. So, capture rope. Capture rope. Karin can capture as well. Karin also needs to be able to mine since we don't have Avara around. So, I have to downgrade his attack. Well, his major purpose has never been to attack anyway. Alright, let's see what this place has in store for us. Alright, there's the sound of water going. Feels really nice. And it's warm and comfortable. Like you'd kind of place you'd want to stay forever. Hey, more boobs. Uh, okay. So he's in a bath. What the hell is going on here and why am I naked? He remembers sleeping with Fia, and putting on his clothes and going to sleep. Wait, is that how you do things? Okay, whatever. Anyway, now, he's naked! No, oh, are you finally awake? Huh? Oh, it's you. So, Rishu. Alright, she... Avaro called her Rishu's son. And now she's going to tell him to drop the son. Because now there's... There is nobody closer than them, etc. What? Okay, Rishu. Where are we? Yeah, Avar was a little disoriented. A minute ago he was sleeping next to Fia, and now he's somewhere in some bath he's never seen before. And why is she here? <coughs> Alright, this is her mansion. That explains everything. Wait, we're in her out also? How tiresome. Doesn't he remember? Uh, no. Okay, why am I here? 
私がアバロに会いたいと願っていた時あなたはまるで流れ星のように目の前へ現れたそして私の肩を抱きながらこうおっしゃったのよけ、okay. <clears throat> Since she wished, she wished to meet him, and like a shooting star, she, he came and appeared before her. And then he held her by the, and then he grasped her on the shoulders and said this to her. Oh, my God, she is a good one. 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 I want you. I love you. I think of you dearly. And I want to be by your side forever. Uh, okay. And what did Rishu respond with? Okay, so from the very beginning, there was no hesitation in her response. Yes, please take me. And now we're at Rishu's mansion. Exactly. Yeah, she isn't the one who's been taken, rather, he was. Okay. Alright then, I'm leaving. <laughs> now, why is that? He's so passionately. Swore her his love to her. That's a lie. Oh, she's surprised that he was able to see through it. He actually is pretty wise, isn't he? Are you trying to praise me? All right, so be that as it may, she's going to start washing to you. She's going to wash your body now, so enjoy yourself. Uh, no. No, wait, no. What he actually says is, oh, that sounds nice. Would you start with my arms? Wait, no. I'm going to return to the castle, to where Fia is. So, get off me. <laughs> uh, that's no good. Avaro has is going to be living here with her from now on. Boy, she has a funny laugh. Uh, no, wait. Anyway, now he realizes that his body isn't moving quite right. Well, the effect is still active. After all, it was a pretty strong potion. You mean to say that you drugged me and dragged me here? Well, that's a disreputable way of saying it. When she came to the castle, they were... He was sleeping there. And what she did was give him the potion in order to help him sleep more comfortably. Even if you say it that way, it sounds disreputable. All right, so anyway, she continues the conversation. Since they're going to be getting married, it's time for him to get washed up. Right, hubby? All uh, right. So she's continuing to... Well, obviously. Hubby, what the hell are you talking about?
Well, Alvaro is going to get married to Nisha and Sally here, and the moving castle will be used to as the vanguard in attacking Inferus. So, since the issue is the rule of Rao Rosso, if she once has relations with a man, then he, she has to marry her. That's how it goes around here. That's pretty screwed up. So... And furthermore, men are just so mysterious. While he was unconscious, this was soft and small, and now it is. Don't stare at it, for God's sake. Yeah, she's gonna keep staring at it. Aren't you embarrassed at all? You're naked, butt naked. If you're a girl, you shouldn't just show your skin to any old guy. Yeah, so does he think that she is simply showing her him her skin? Huh? So, no, she doesn't get embarrassed by showing her skin off. In fact, she has servants who dress her. So naturally, she's okay with being naked. Man, she is pretty high up on the food chain. And, actually going the other way, Avaro is looking at her beautiful body, and he should be so grateful he sh that he should be crying right now. And what the hell is wrong with him that he isn't? What the hell are you getting angry about? He will admit it's a pretty charming body and all. Okay, keep your head on. Oh, uh, maybe it's still the drugs. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and learn about men's bodies directly. <laughs> Knock it off already. Knock it off. Stop trying to struggle. It's not like you're some virgin girl. <laughs> yeah, help me. No. And after that, she continued to wash him. Ah, she is getting goosebumps. Now, Fia's got the feeling like Avaro's being forced to do something bad. No, oh, to think you can sense that sort of thing. Gods are pretty impressive. Alright, let's hurry. Gotta find out what's happened to Avaro. Okay. Let's start with Mikayu. After that, Fia. I messed up already. Hey! I never use that button. If Fia's right there, then she won't be able to summon her... her... summons this turn. 
How are you, Aki? You know, not that long ago we were having trouble getting all of our guys out at once and now they're just falling into line easy. In all honesty, I should have... Instead of Eel in the front lines, it should be Kisnir. But we can get her up to speed in no time. No. Not worth it. First things first, Eel, kill this thing for me. Kisnir, you're up next. Hmm. Now oh, we can tackle the guys, but... Mikeo isn't any good at this. Hmm? Yeah, I genuinely... Genuinely don't know where the... Actual mining points are, because when I did this in my trial run, I forgot to re-equip his mining skill. Alright. This one is modestly likely. This one's fairly likely to get a skill a kill. Ha! Sucker. Okay. Better use the capture skill, because if I don't, it might kill it. And we are trying to capture it. Hmm. Can you kill this eel? 12 times 3. Nah, she's going to take two turns to do it. Or not. Critical hits are the best. Alright. Earth Beast Blood. Now I could kill this guy, but he's standing on a trap. Karn could stand on that trap. But Karn's busy mining over there. So let's over kill, kill this guy. There are two useful elements in this map. Earth and fire. Hmm. Let's just shoot this guy. The skeletons have a lot of hit points, so... If I want to capture them, it's best to wear them down a little bit. Eel will not be of use against skeletons. They have pretty heavy physical resistance. What is it? 25%? 50 maybe? Ah. Oh, there's too many of them. Oh, without Avaro, we're not doing as well. Yeah, screw that. Don't give up. If you lose in your feelings, then even if you could win, you would lose anyway. Alright, leave the front line to Kisnir. And Fia and them get to back her up. Yeah. She's pretty reliable. 
ここで張り切らねば何のために城塞に関わる全てを守ると誓ったのかわからなくなる Well The battle is The battle is her native element So if she doesn't do this kind of thing For what reason did she come to the castle? And swear to protect the castle アバロがいない今こそ私が戦場を支える柱となる So with the war gone She is the one they get to rely on in battle. さあかかってこいこの者たちを傷つけたくばまずはこのキスニルが相手となるぞ All right, I'm a hero. Let's kill things. どんどん行こう Hmm, capture? Yeah, she can capture it. Yeah, you all really can't do much to these guys. So head in here, see what happens. Kisner is very useful. She is positively a skeleton killer. Okay. Kiss news her hurting a bit, so I'm gonna heal her up. Ah, healing potions are the best. Stab! Die! Oh, jeez. Huh. You can see by their graphics they have shields. Sometimes their shield skill activates. And reduces the damage by 50%. Well, more than 50, really. Alright, kill the thing and take it captive. Oh. Awesome. Well, not very good. But physical tech, which I always like to see. Now, Cotton can do decent damage to these guys. Not a whole lot, but decent damage. Again, it's fire element that they're weak against. Okay, you kill this one. Yeah, that should be easily within your capability. And you will kill this one. He's new, we'll kill this one. You may have seen it activate its revival skill. Sometimes when you kill a skeleton, it won't die immediately, and you'll have to kill it a second time in battle. But it can only do that once per battle. These guys drop a lot of broken swords. Which is very convenient. Hey, let's look at these guys. Yeah, this is 50% reduction of physical damage. They absorb darkness damage. And they are a little bit weak against fire, but we're really, really weak. 50% extra if they take light damage. But anyway. Hmm. Let's move around and up. She might get attacked, but she can be okay for one round. Hopefully. Capture. Oh, wait. Yeah, these guys aren't going to do any damage to him, but he can't really do damage to them either. Now these guys might die if she gets a lucky hit, but otherwise they won't die and they'll retreat back to the feather and get healed. Don't you hate when that happens? 
Oh, maybe I should take more, pay more attention to how much life she has. No, you're not a healer anymore. I use healing potions now. Alright, yeah, I'll take care of this guy. That's a good girl. We all love you, Yale. Oh, yes. Healing potions. I like it. Talk a big fight about healing potions and then I almost forget it. Since I usually have someone on attack who's also really good with defense, I sometimes forget she's not that impressive on defense. Alright, if Ronrin weakens these guys, then when they attack Kiss in the next turn, we may be able to, if we're lucky, kill them. Sixteen enemies. Yeah, this is why I wanted to use up all the captured monsters I could. Because we're going to capture a lot of enemies in here. Alright, still doing good. Capture. Yes. Hmm. Whom should I set on the... No. Let's not even ask. Once I get the opportunity, I'm pulling Kaorin back from the front line. Since he's our only miner right now, I need him checking everywhere. Haha. <laughs> We're almost full on monsters already. What a shame, what a shame. Oh, there's just no end to them. Yeah, if I attacked it with light damage, then it would die. So let's do a normal attack. And Kisnir can follow up and kill it. Or we can capture it now. I'm okay with that. Oh. I've just filled up my inventory of captures, so... I'm gonna do normal smashes. Alright, now we control the room. Oh. And they're both weak against fire, so they're gonna attack Kisnir and die horribly. No, I've still got the capture skill working. But we can't capture because we're at our limit. So... This is her most powerful attack. She'll still need a critical hit to kill it in one round, though. But she got a critical hit, and... It got that shield skill. So the critical hit didn't do the damage it needed to. Nuts. Now, oh, wait a minute. 
Now that this portion of the enemy defeating is done, I don't actually need Ronin anymore. Come to think of it, it is a good thing to have Cobbing in here. Because he can check the place for mining. Mm-hmm. And no mining to be done in here. Alright, Renrin. Thanks for playing. Man, we're getting so many broken swords off of these guys. No mining. Hmm. I have to mine everywhere. It's like a rule. Nothing in there. Haha! <laughs> Alright. I'll get someone around in and have her attack it. Meh. Those things just wander around randomly. Oh, jeez. Were you poisoned or something? Get over here and heal yourself. Now, I'm going to advise you to send Karin in there first. Because, first of all, since we can't capture anybody, he's free to use his super attacks. And these guys are weak against Earth. And there's all three of them that will attack you at once. So it's best to have somebody who can take a lot of damage. Well, now, doesn't this look interesting? A skill type monster. Let's see, 10 damage minus 5 is... She'll be doing 5 points of damage to me. Alright, let's see what she looks like. <laughs> Curious. Hmm, might as well. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? This thing takes extra damage from physical attacks. Who'd have thunk? Anyway, you still can't really take a lot of damage, but... 
Well, why not? We aren't gonna live forever. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> dodge right. Did she just laugh? Oh, a submersive ring. How nice. Oh, I just remembered I do need Mikayu. Kind of. And I'll use the submersive ring. That takes care of most of the difficult portions. Hmm. Yeah, you got out of that without a scratch, so I may as well hurt this person. Smash the thing for us, Karin. Hey, this is a pretty good level up. He only got one hit point, but he has a ton of hit points. With this, almost all of the enemies should be defeated. Well, I never explained it, but our objective is to get to this event. And this event can only be activated by Fia. So be sure not to let Fia die or anything. Hmm, pretty tough bastard. I don't want to land EO on that trap, but can't be helped. And anyway, without any enemies left, she can't die. Mars stone. Now, the thing we got from that skilla was the submersive ring. Where is it? Here it is. With this, even Eel can walk on water. Or more accurately, go underwater. Grotina. Oh, those are so useless. I hate them. Alright. That means we've got all collections and we've got everything we saw, so time to finish this. Oh, we're finally halfway there. We haven't gotten very far. You can tell by the number of footsteps we take and the way our path is winding about that we're actually not getting too much closer. Well, in any case, although the path is winding, this is still the best way to get there. Primarily because if we did it over land, we'd have to run into Raoroso soldiers. So, Fia got from this that 
Although it's a long way, it's also a shortcut. So, we're halfway. Wait for us, Avaro. And the next map opens up. That's everything. Hmm. The purple mushroom is a new thing for us. Probably have no use for it. Oh, so I can go to either of these. But I still can't visit any of these. Interesting. What? That'll have to wait until next time. Actually, Cunning is still more useful. And we finally collected enough of these guys. But, since we used too many of that one kind, hmm. Curious. Okay, those skeletons we captured are undead. But Ranrin requires three star undead for that. And Kaunrin requires two star undead. Man, what a ripoff. Strange. Okay. What do I have? Mythic beasts. Ogres. Yeah, if I got a few more goblins, I could give her more hit points. More demi-humans would mean more fatigue points. Magic beasts. Mythic beasts. Actually, I think those skeletons are entirely useless to me. Since we got her, her darkness, the skeletons don't apply for anything else. Yeah. Let's toss these guys. Go on, be free. So, that will cover us for today. Next time we'll see what this guy is and then probably head into that dungeon again. And perhaps that will be the map after which we get to see Avaro. So, I'll see you next time, YouTube.